<rire> Bonsoir, je suis John Daniel, je suis le professeur de français à York School. Uh, a hybrid beginning language course, simple comme bonjour, or easy as one, two, three. So I'm currently teaching a 100% online advanced French course. And because I get inspired by projects that I'm currently doing and think about other projects that I might be doing, I thought, why don't beginning language students get an online experience? How can we reach out to further students whose time commitment may not allow them to do a full face-to-face -face or online class? So to help me out with showing you what I believe a combination part online, part face-to-face -face course might look like, I've asked three of my darling students to come up and help me out today. And they are Sophia and Natalie and Jared, so we'll welcome them. <clears throat> Part of the face-to-face -face interaction in this hybrid course uh, might have us telling a story. For example, the story of Lolonio uh, la Loutre. Although had I known that the stubby squid had been talked about tonight, I might have changed that uh, to match. <laughs> Lolonio la Loutre is headed to the Monterey Bay Aquarium. They've had about an hour to two hours of their own time during the week to look over the story and practice the signs that I've given them, as hybrid students might do. So I'm going to call on each of them and ask them to kind of show me in their own crazy way what they think is going on in the story. C'est un dimanche. Hey, bravo. Uh, il fait mauvais. Jared, l'ogno la loutre ne veut pas rester chez lui. Non, ne veut pas rester chez lui. Il va vite à la billetterie. Yep, il va vite à la billetterie de l'aquarium de Baie de Monterey. L'employé, l'employé qui vend des billets, oui, c'est une pieuvre. Une pieuvre? Yep, it's an octopus. Pourpre, pourpre comme le costume de Monsieur Daniel? No. Non, ça c'est bleu, oui. Oui, très sérieuse, très sérieuse. Yes, so this très sérieuse dit à Lolonio bonjour. Yes, que puis-je faire pour vous? Que puis-je faire pour vous? There you go, a question. Lolonio lui répond, bonjour madame. Yep. Je voudrais un billet d'entrée de, euh, tarif réduit. Tarif réduit. There you go, I want to get him for cheap, s'il vous plaît. J'ai six ans. J'ai six ans. Oui, voilà. Six ans? Six ans? Euh, la pieuvre propre lui crie, tu ne peux pas entrer. Sans adulte. That's me. Euh, Lolonio est triste. Bien, il est triste. Il n'a pas d'adulte avec lui. Voilà. Il n'entre pas dans l'aquarium. Il pleure pendant 29 heures. 29, can you do that with your fingers? Yeah, it's all right. It's too big a number. Okay, so that might be the first part of the story section that we do. Then we want to see, are the students capable of answering questions about the story that they're practicing? Can they make up new information? It might go something like this. Jared, c'est un samedi? Oui ou non? C'est un samedi, non. C'est quel jour de la semaine? Dimanche, there you go. Hey, il fait beau ou il fait mauvais? Il fait mauvais. Aujourd'hui, il fait beau ou il fait mauvais? Il fait beau aujourd'hui. Euh, Lolonio, euh, Lolonio est chien, chat? Non. non C'est quoi, Lolonio? C'est une loutre. Yeah, otter, très bien. Il y a une pieuvre, oui ou non? Oui. Il y a un stubby squid? Non, il y a une pieuvre. Très bien. La pieuvre est comique ou sérieuse? Et Monsieur Daniel, il est comique ou sérieux? Il est comique. Très bien. Um, de quelle couleur est la pieuvre? Uh, rouge ou pourpre? Oh, pourpre, I like. Yeah, I like that answer. Et le loutre voulait du popcorn? Non. Voulait quoi? Un tarif réduit, always cheap prices, yeah. Et uh, il veut un tarif uh, d'entrée, plein tarif ou tarif réduit? Plein tarif ou tarif réduit? Uh, aquarium. Aquarium, pour l'aquarium, bravo. So these three have proven that they um, worked in the hybrid by looking on their computers, came back and started working with me during the time that we had together. Thank you guys for participating. Yay. <laughs> Je appreciate it. Merci. So there are some of my hybrid students, I imagine, working their two hours of free time, going over uh, material that I prepare for them to learn vocabulary. How might they be doing it? Kevin will play the video. This charming guy might be giving them sign language to help them acquire new vocabulary and remember it through tactile. Yeah, he's pretty, pretty charming. Thank you, Kevin. That's good. 
Um, so uh, when we're learning these signs, it's not really to speak in a, a French sign language. It's just using tactile methods to help the vocabulary stay in their heads, yeah? So they'll be practicing this on their own during their two hours of free time and then come into a more interactive session. Will they be doing more active um, skits and drama to get the language moving around? But what kind of student might want to participate in a hybrid beginning language course? Students that maybe are already taking a full-time course and students who, like Matthew, understand that learning a second or third language is brain food. Not only does it help your memory grow now, but it staves off cognitive decline as you get older. Now I don't have to worry about cognitive decline. What other kinds of students might be interested in taking a hybrid beginning language learning class? Those that are globally competent citizens like Joseph, who you'll see speaking later, and Jared. Um, these boys are minded uh, in the fact that they are global citizens. They know that if they achieve a measurable level of proficiency in a language, that they can connect to 220 million new French-speaking friends, 500 new uh, Spanish-speaking, 500 million new Spanish-speaking friends, and many, many, many new Chinese-speaking friends through a course like this. Another student, though, might take the course simply because Sid remembers that it's just fun. It's fun to learn something new, and it's fun to get up and move around out of your seat, even when you're not playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> is it simple comme bonjour? Is it as easy as one, two, three? Well, the time commitment, I think, would be not so much for me, because I'm planning on building the video uh, uh, support for my French 1 classes anyway, so I could offer that to the hybrid course as well. The main resource would be the time for the students who choose to participate in something like a not-for-credit course that they have to find times to meet with outside of the regular school day with me. So our goal would be to reach novice high level between a year and a year and a half. If they're students like the three you saw, we get there pretty solidly in a year. And by the time they're at novice high level, they're actually pretty useful in most jobs that they might have that require some knowledge of a second or third language. They can order a meal, make a purchase, buy a ticket, exchange information. It'd be a fantastic thing to see a third language come into our students uh, at that level. So, um, my point is, this is what inspired me for my current project, but I'd also, to you, I'd also like for you guys to think about what currently surrounds you. What are you noticing that isn't there that you can help make be there? And then make it happen. Thank you.